Hello and welcome back to the John Christian Studio Sessions. Today we're talking about mastering in depth part two because a lot of things are happening with mastering and we already had the setting of the mastering and we already have the dynamics of the mastering, but you also have to color the master and make a, a dynamic range in terms of frequencies. And also I am always tweaking the stereo image a little bit more. And so that's what I wanted to share with you. So check me out on this one. So to start with the stereo image, here is something that I think if you would talk to any teacher on an engineering school, it would say, ah, oh, well, this guy is crazy. Because what I actually do is use two stereo images on the mastering. Like I told you before, there is already a stereo imaging plugin going on from the early stage of the production, which is opening up the stereo image here. And after that, I'm going to use the Ozone 5.1 stereo imager you can also use the ozone 6 in the meantime but for this production i was using the ozone 5 and what i do here is to make a specific widening on a specific uh, range of the frequency spectrum because uh, for instance when the sub frequencies are playing there is no hearable stereo image in there and so i think i can make that even almost mono here because you will hear you will not hear any difference and you will get rid of some phases that you don't want and when it comes to the mid high frequencies that's where a lot of details are going on in the whole production so if you really want to make clear that you are having all your transients here you can open up the spectrum between 2000 hertz and 10k so uh, and this is what what it would sound like then. So this is exaggerated, but it's really affecting the, um, uh, the, the lead sounds. And that's what I want because I really want them to have right in the face. And this is one of the tricks that I can use for that. And so I, would, I also would like to open up the highest frequencies a bit. And even the low mid frequencies would, would be a little bit wider. And if I just bypass it now, you can hear the difference. It's not a big difference, but it's just to have extra details in your master. If you hear it now, everything is just going on in the middle. And if I just unbypass it, it will just open up. And that was the, the meaning of doing this. So this is it. So that's it when it comes to stereo imaging. <clears throat> The other thing is that we need to, to give a little bit more color and to make it really pushy. And now I'm going to reveal a little trick because I really love to work with a dynamic equalizer or a multiband EQ, it's, it's just how you name it. And the C4 has a, has a specific thing in there because all the plugins which, are using, uh, which I use that I'm going to push in reds in terms of volume are distorting and I think this plugin has a certain headroom or whatever maybe it's it's a programming mistake or whatever but if you push this one to the reds it's not distorting at all so this is the original setting of the track uh, and it would sound like this I can bypass it so you can hear the difference between using it and not, not using it Here's a real difference going on in terms of, of course, the coloring, but you can you can do the settings as your own favor in your own favor. But um, the other thing is that it's just going into the reds here in this section without even distorting. So this is my trick to make a very loud master without having any technical problems. And when you play this track in the club, it's really standing out because of the high levels and that's what I've achieved with with this plugin and so I used it on all my tracks and the, the fun thing is it, it's just not distorting let me just lower the volume because if you are going to school the teacher will say oh we don't want to see the red light so it would be something like this 
so it's clean and it's between the range of, of what is what normal uh, what normal people would do. But then I say, okay, I don't care about the rules. This is what I would like to use it for, and this is what's happening then. So at this point, I think I really have a very, very loud master and it's still clean. So this is what I do for having a loud and clear and bright master, which have a really wide stereo image, a lot of frequencies, a lot of pumping going on and a lot of loudness in the end as well. And so that's it for now. I hope to see you in future episodes. I hope you have enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye bye. If you have any question about this chapter, or maybe another, just go to myfacebook.com slash DJ John Christian and leave your comments there.